What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? Today I want to take a little bit of time to just show you the components that I used on my 6.5 Grendel build. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite rifles that I've ever built and definitely one of my favorite rifles that I've ever owned. Uh, took a lot of time on this build, gave it a lot of thought. This is not only just a long range, uh, plinking, having fun, ring and steel type weapon, but uh, do a lot of hunting with this weapon as well. Uh, this year this will be my uh, deer hunting rifle. Hopefully for me I'm able to to fill my buck tag this year with a bow. That's always my first preference but if that doesn't happen then I'll definitely be taking this 6.5 Grendel with me to the woods but uh, you can check out some of my other videos on my channel as well. I'll link those below but there's a couple beaver hunting videos that I use this to kill some beaver with. Uh, then this fall and this winter, I hope to get some kill shots of some coyotes on video as well. I have killed several coyotes with this weapon, but uh, unfortunately haven't been able to get any of those kill shots on video. But I'm going to keep trying this fall and this winter. So make sure and subscribe and uh, keep your eye out for those videos. So before we get going here, we'll just make sure that we are dealing with a clear weapon. Drop that mag out. You can see the follower there is blue. And clear weapon. So we'll just start right here and uh, start out with the butt stock on this. Um, I started out with just a regular mag pull stock on this, but I ended up switching uh, pretty quickly to this MFT minimalist. I was a little skeptical on this at first, but man, I really do like this stock with this tail hook. Um, I, I know I read some reviews where this kind of hooks onto things you don't want it to, but I haven't really found that to be a problem and I've actually found it to be at my advantage. Um, say I'm hunting along a fence row or in some timber, I can actually just use this hook right here and put it on a tree branch or on a fence post and go hands free if I need to. Moving right along here to the optics, I uh, went with the Vortex HST 4 to 16 power. Once again, I'm a big fan of Vortex as you've seen in my other videos. Um, for the price point on this, just superb glass. I know there's much better glass out there, but for what I do and what I need it to do, um, this definitely fills that void for me just fine. Um, I went ahead and put a little piece of pick rail right here, mounted to the tube on the Vortex. I actually mount my Wicked light right here for my red coyote hunting light, and it sticks out just right past the bell on the optic right here and then I'll run my um, pressure switch and just put it right here on the rail. And I used a one piece American Defense uh, quick release mount. Very solid construction, very sturdy mount. You definitely don't want to go cheap right there and I've been very happy with this. Those quick release levers, throw levers, they are really nice if you need to switch this over temporarily to a different rifle. Then once you put it back onto this rifle and make sure and return it to zero uh, with the quick stop on the HST with the turrets, um, you should find yourself being very close to your original zero, if not right on. Moving on here, I went with an ergo grip. I really just like the, the feel of that, that type of grip whenever I'm shooting at longer distances. Uh, with this rifle, I have stretched it out to 950 yards. I don't have any places anymore where I can stretch out any rifles past a thousand, um, but at 950 this thing performed just like I expected it to. Um, very good precision, you know, holds zero well with the optic and the mount, and uh, just real pleased with how it performs at that distance. Uh, the lower is just a Spikes tactical lower. It's actually a, just a lower receiver that I've had for quite some time now. And I had a nice Geisley SSA trigger in it, so I wanted to just swap it right over and use it for the build on this 6.5 Grindle. I did go ahead and go with a billet upper receiver made by Mega Arms. I did go with an Ambi Safety. I do that on all uh, rifles that I build now. I just find having that option is very advantageous. I did add an oversized billet bolt release. And then my mag release is an oversized um, kind of a flat panel looking thing. I didn't know how I was going to feel about that at first. It says 6.5 Grendel on it. 
I think I found that on eBay pretty cheap. Um, I really like it though, just cause it kind of sets it apart from other, my other rifles and uh, says 6.5 Grendel on it. And that pad, you know, is pretty easy to push a lot more meat there to, to push onto quickly if you need to. And then moving up front here, I went with an ALG defense rail handguard. I uh, really like the slim design of this. Very small, but yet very sturdy construction on this rail handguard. And then I just did some ergo, you know, plastic fill-ins, um, maybe rubber, however you want to phrase that. But it just kind of, you know, flows well with the other colors that I have on the rifle. And also gives you a little bit more texture to grab a hold of. Uh, typically, I'm not running a bipod on this unless I am just, you know, prone, just ringing steel or shooting long distance. Uh, typically, I'd have this off whenever I'm hunting with it. So the way that I mainly hunt with this, as far as coyote hunting and beaver hunting, um, I do shoot this off of the tripod a lot. You can see that on my other videos as well. I'll link those below. Um, but I have this mount from Really Right Stuff. And it's just an M-lock mount, which um, attaches and slides right into the ball head that I have on top of my tripod. And this just allows you to go completely hands-free when you're sitting behind that tripod that ball head's gonna fully support the whole rifle and you can not touch it and it's just gonna be aimed wherever you have it set up at because of the tension on your ball head. Um, take a look at those other videos if you want, if you don't fully understand you know, how that concept works, but I would highly recommend looking into that. Uh, very good system to use when you're hunting or just you know having fun plinking, shooting at the range. Like I mentioned here, this is the Harris bipod. I do have the quick throw lever, I call it quick throw maybe extended throw lever, however you want to phrase that, but it's just easier instead of that little twist knob, you actually got a lever here to you know give it tension and then loosen it up. And the barrel that I went with on this, uh, debated for a long time on what barrel to go with. Uh, I used to do a lot of F-class competitions and I used a Criterion on that. Uh, really had a lot of luck with that Criterion. Um, but after a lot of research, what I ended up going with was the JP Rifle Super Match. Uh, this is one and eight twist, 18 inch rifle barrel with a rifle length gas system. Uh, did go with one of their adjustable gas blocks just so I can adjust, you know, the gas flow because I do run this fully suppressed. Um, my suppressor is the Griffin Armament Recce 7. And then I went with a Coltac uh, suppressor cover. So you can see it here without that suppressor cover on it. Nothing fancy, just all black. Uh, I like this just because of the colors on it and then I don't really use it a whole lot for heat protection But I just use it for protection uh, Spent quite a bit of money on that So I would like to keep it as nice as I can and then as always I don't uh, skimp out on my bolt carrier group and I went with Bravo company on that as well uh, bolt carrier and the actual bolt itself and then on the optics I'm using their new vortex defender caps went with the BCM Mod 4 charging handle. So this rifle, it is my favorite rifle that I own. It's just so versatile. It is a little bit long with the suppressor on it, but it still comes in at a very reasonable weight. Uh, very easy to pack around and, you know, I can um, shoot this offhand at, you know, coyotes or beaver or whatever it might be, or I can uh, shoot it off a bipod at long distance. It's just very versatile, can do many different things. So this fall, I am going to take a little bit of time and put together a video of me shooting this rifle just to kind of show you what it's capable of. And like, like I mentioned, I hope to get some uh, videos on this channel of me using this on some coyote hunts. As always, I do appreciate you guys that are already subscribed. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button follow along. We're growing every day on this channel and I'm going to continue to keep focusing on this channel, putting out more content for you guys, answering any questions you might have. If you guys have any questions on this build, just ask down below in the comments. I try to get back to those as quickly as I can. Uh, if you don't mind, just hit that subscribe button, follow along. Stay tuned for more videos to come and as always, happy hunting. See you guys.